we expect to see sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head to head in this one. And but with the way the game is played today, we could see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Lopez in at center. Now, here is Harden, following the shot by Drew Holiday, and the shot goes in. Making the difficult look easy. That's what James Harden does, taking contact, making the basket. Holiday gets the bucket. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. And that was the mobile one drive well worth a second look it's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself mp kicks to harris and about a minute gone here in the first quarter great tee that time from Giannis to the paint good and the assist goes to middleton and i really marvel at the touch of antetokounmpo for his size and physique that's incredible. And Harden with the stop. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Middleton inside the three-point line. That one off the back iron and out. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Ball, ball. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, I briefly spoke with Mike Budenholzer. He said if they want to go up 2-0 in the season series tonight, they have to be just as sharp as they were the first meeting. He said we can't get sloppy and expect to win. We have to be careful with our shots and take care of the ball. We'll see if they can execute just as well the second time, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks for the report, D.A. Looking to get into a rhythm early, Greg, with their shooting. And I think to get into a good flow, you need to get everyone involved, even if it's as a facilitator. Yes, but in today's offensive league, that's a fantastic approach to have. Let's just see if they can walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Now here's Harden. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. With the way that it made moves. At 280 first, pounds, first I don't know how anyone defends that man. Back. This is his first trip to the line tonight. The line in their last contest, guys, he Joel was unconscious Andy. from the foul line. Good on the second free throw. And I feel like one of the more underrated aspects of Embiid's game is his passing. He understands that teams are going to bring two, sometimes three. You have to make quick decisions with the ball when that happens. Embiid, he embraces that challenge. The 76ers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Harden outside. That shot no good. Good D by Lopez. Here's Allen. It's hauled in by the 76ers. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Gonzalez passes to Embiid, and it's out of bounds. The 76ers are able to retain possession here. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He's still got a good outcome. Giannis kicks to Allen. Here's Middleton. That one wide left. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. From deep Harden. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. And he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Onto Takumbo passes to Allen. Outside Holiday. Pass to Onto Takumbo. Trying to get open is Lopez. On to Dekumbo, no good. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. MB and MB throws it down. Just a beautiful job of standing the floor, finding the open man. Harris.
Davis looking to involve his teammates. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Down it goes. Nice one there from Adetokounmpo. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Fast break, Milwaukee. On the Kumbo running. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. Middleton. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. And this is Middleton's game. He's thinking of shooting it even before the pass hits his hands. Harris kicks to MP. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Milwaukee ball. Beyond the lead could see his feet more set on that screen easy call look guys get away with this all the time but on this occasion he got caught now here is holiday he had 15 points last out that one no good Harden outside a shot off that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia, where they were able to handle the 76ers. And whether by design or by accident, they drew so many fouls in that game. Foul trouble for the other side became a huge issue. And I'm sure that's been at the forefront of the plan coming into this one, too. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one of the strike. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the 76ers? Well, free throw drops for MB. Well, in a new season, there are some players, Richard, that hit the ground running. And there are others, as you well know, that just take a while to get going. Which, I, I, sh I know what camp you fell into, but what would you say? Did you take a while to get going, or were you ready to go? No, it, it was both. There was one where it was like I struggled to get going and really get a rhythm, and there's others that I was just ready to go and locked in. As your environment changes, so does your success. And so sometimes, as your environment changes, you got to figure out how to be successful. In Good insight. Stolen by Middleton. Down low. Onto Dekumbo. No good. The 76ers leading by three. Harden finds MP. Into the lane. Here's Harris. Defended by Middleton. Out to Gonzalez. From outside the arc. The rebound by Brooke Lopez. The Buck shooting well off their usual numbers around 29% so far. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Beach got five rebounds tonight. Not his best efficiency this quarter. And look, sometimes that's how it goes. Harden the pass to Gonzalez. Philadelphia moving the ball around. The pass to Maxi. Six to shoot. He's looking for MP and finds him. Yep, that one goes. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Passes it to Lopez. And here's Holiday. Middleton looking it over. Back to Holiday. Trying to get open is Lopez. Good work defensively by Harden. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now here is Harris. He had 13 points in the win against Utah. And he made a living at the line as well. Got there over and over and That's did some damage. Personal foul. Season after season, it seems foul. like Tobias Harris only proves himself more invaluable. Tobias He's one of those blue guys. Stick him into almost any lineup and he can contribute points rebounds assist whatever you need and that's what makes him a precious commodity here's what philadelphia is going with right now harrell he's checked in for joel and b d anthony melton comes in for maxi and it's shake milton in for james harden uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter here's melton no good on the three Here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. It's a five-point game. Off the mark, and the drop continues. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. 
Here's Gonzalez. And good that time. And the 76ers lead by seven. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. And Philadelphia making a change here. McDaniels checked in. Bounce pass, Holiday. Connaughton passes to Holiday. Connaughton kicks to Holiday. Pass to Ingles. Five to shoot. Portis finds Ingles. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Reagan back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now, and that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. A shot by Milton, no good. Bucks trail by seven. Here's Crowder, makes it off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Now, here's Milton, guarded by Holiday. Out to Gonzalez. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first. And first teams foul. take on the attitude team of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia the has been known. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Now, here's Connaughton. No points in the game yet for him. Portis can't get it to go. The 76ers leading by six. Gonzalez into the lane. Off target at the rim. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. To the middle. Here's Crowder. His shot is good, making him a perfect 2 for 2 from the floor. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Hilton the pass to Gonzalez. Milton finds MP. Back to Milton. Now here's Gonzalez. Inside, McDaniels. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Gonzalez has got three assists in the game. Pass to Bochamp. Back to Ingles. Carroll against Portis. And the pass to Ingles. Outside Crowder. And it's off from three-point range. The 76ers lead. Gonzalez into the lane. Two free throws Milwaukee coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find him. Here's Bochamp. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Ingles. Rebound by Harold. Philadelphia leading by eight. Nobody near Milton. Another miss by Philadelphia. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting down around 24%. Obviously, they've struggled. Here's Portis. 18 feet away, and he knocks Bobby it down. Portis. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Now, here's Milton. Defense right on him. Gonzalez's shot is off. Bucks trail by six. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Bochamp misses. Philadelphia's gone 105 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. 
Al Gonzalez. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Utah. And don't forget about his assists. His playmaking was as good or better than his scoring. He, he was in complete control out there. From deep three-point range, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Philadelphia ahead as they wrap up the first quarter. 16. And MV comes in for P.J. Tucker. Harden the pass to Maxi. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal It's on Bobby Portis. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times, but you really just try to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's line. Jim Wiggles is out there with Jake Crump. Then there's Bobby Portis. Then there's Pat Connaughton. And it's Bochamp in at the one spot. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Crowder against Gonzalez. Rocket six. From 13. And too long on the shot. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Now, here's McDaniel. Angles covering. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. The 76ers have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. And, and 75% on the season as a unit from the free throw line. Harrell, he's checked in for Reed. And about the 76ers, Richard, they've been impressive. Yeah, they've been on a 50-win pace for about the last five seasons. And with Joel Embiid every single year, you are going to be a contender. This is their window, and they are bringing in the talent to get it done. Portis, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Milwaukee shoot their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Outside, Gonzalez. Passes to Melton. Back to Gonzalez. Melton passes to Gonzalez. To the inside, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harold. That was an, okay, let's say that was an odd play. You don't see missed connections like that too often. Bucks trail by nine. Here's Bochamp. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Nice shot by Portis. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. That was the 2K drive. Because that move deserved another look. And a bucket like that one might be just what they need to cut into this lead. Now, here's Melton. Ingles with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And so, MV will bring it up for Philadelphia. They've led by as many as 11 points. Harrell finds MV. Going inside. Wow, wow, he got whacked. 
on that Bobby one. Shouldn't Porter. be much debate there. That's 76ers have made nine foul. free throws in the game. 14 Deep attempts. Foul. The first one falls. At the line for your Sixers. And both free throws good for MP. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. As to Ingles. Here's Bochamp. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Philadelphia ball. Here's Milton. Nine points last game. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. you got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. 76 <laughs> Agree. Anthony Thanks, David. The Bucks have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for the Bucks. Bochamp. And he makes both free throws. The 76ers leading by seven. Loads it up there for Harold. And with toughness and physicality, Harold can simply overpower opponents offensively. Ingles, the bounce pass. Pass to Crowder. Connaughton with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Good work there as it goes. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. We've got 155 left in the first half of the game. Here's Bochamp, defended by Milton. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Montrez here. Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league. And so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. And the Bucks making a change here. Holiday's checked in. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Ball. Bucks trail by six. Kicks it to Crowder. Score of the basket is third after five shots. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Here's Gonzalez. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Ingles can't get it to go. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Elton kicks to MP. Forty seconds left here in the second. Harold, that's good. Yeah, just showcasing his agility in these sets. Harold's IQ and knowing when to slash is impressive. And here's Holiday. He's got six. Now Ingles out to the right wing. And a wide open look for Portis. No good off the back of the rim. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Here's Gonzalez inside. And finished off yeah, by McDaniel. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And so it's Philadelphia holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be back with you shortly.
For those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. They've got Tobias Harris. Axie out there with Harden. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Gonzalez in at the four shot. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Shooting over 80% from the line during his career, and Embiid is not only one of the best free throw shooting centers in the league today, he's one of the best all time. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. the line for two. First free throw is good. And MB drops them both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Allen outside. Lopez outside. Bucks passing it around. Shot is good at the 76ers. Lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Adekumbo. The correct decision by Middleton moving to his wide open teammate, Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. And it's Hunter Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That'll be the first of four played at home for him. And Embiid with the block. The timing on the rejection and Embiid's feel for when to go after blocks is ridiculous. And a minute played as the second half gets going. And so onto Takumbo looking over it. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's his first personal time. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. And Giannis's journey, GA, is so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey Grayson for the Greek free. That's his second personal foul. First free throw is good. Second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia. And so he makes both from the line. And the Bucks with possession here. They trail by seven. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. Middleton outside. The pass to Allen from downtown. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flank. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. At the honest. Nobody near Allen. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. And here we go. Giannis heading to the hoop. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. And an incredible display of awareness there. Giannis, a great read on the defensive end and understands this team wants to run. MB. Second shot opportunity. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And 74%, man, you know, so so, he probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. First one falls for him. Maxi hits them both. Bucks trail by 10. To the middle. Here's onto Takumbo. Yes, Giannis and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got assist number five here tonight. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. And now in his 14th NBA season. Just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but 
That belies his greatness as a player. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Harden the pass to Harris. Dishes it to MP. Not loose. Stolen by Holiday. Fast break. Milwaukee out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. Philadelphia ball. Gonzalez passes to Maxi. Back to Gonzalez. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got six rebounds now in the game. You know, Greg, you can make the case. Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And you know, and defense can Holiday. sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game, but Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. Here's Gonzalez, and the rejection by Giannis. Outside Holiday. Allen outside. The kick out to Holiday. Back to Allen. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the three ball. Allen. Now just a 3.76ers lead. A good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Harden the pass to Gonzalez. Feeds it to Embiid. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Bucks trail by three. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. Maxi kicks to MP. Harris outside. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. Love the activity from Embiid, just doing whatever he can to keep plays alive, getting rewarded for it there. Allen outside. Down low. Here's Giannis. And onto to Kubo, slumps it in. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's Embiid. Allen with the rebound. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. It's a three-point game. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. Joel Count it, back. and the foul. Joel Embiid. That one up. for a different look here. On Trezharo, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. MV comes in for P.J. Tucker. DeAnthony Melton, he's checked in for Maxi, And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Portis is checked in. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Pass to Andacumbo. Back to Middleton. Trying to end the drought. And there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis. That's his fifth foul. He knocked down three foul. in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Milton the pass to Gonzalez. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Personal foul. Free throw good, MP. At the line for Philadelphia, Gonzalez. And both free throws good for MP. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Allen finds Middleton. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Second half, they haven't taken care of the basketball. Simply put, more turnovers now that could hurt Rick them Lopez. later. Rick Lopez is checked in for Portis. Philadelphia leading by 11. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's Harrell, and it's sent back by Lopez. And we have seen Lopez really improve his shot blocking. 
adept at using that length to alter shots. Harris's shot is off. Holiday left side. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Looking good at this point, but one team more. We come back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Setting the floor for the Bucs. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Sharing the wing spots, it's Allen and Middleton. And it's Holiday in at the one. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And the picture of consistency. Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. And the 76ers with some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for Montrez Hill. And it's James Harden in for Shake Milton. Harris kicks to MP. Now here's Giannis. Pass to Holiday. Lopez with the ball. Allen outside. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. Hits it down to Middleton. Trying to get open is Lopez. And Middleton, the bucket on the assist by Antetokounmpo. Giannis has got his sixth assist on the night. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. With, with his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting to his spot. And the foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. Axis checked in for the 76 Timeout called the Bucks. One of the stories here, James Harden getting it done today. And whatever the D has thrown at him, he's had an answer. His offense is coming naturally to him because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keeps things simple. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. He said they played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent to have too many second-chance opportunities. That, he said, is the difference in this game. You have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. Thanks, David. In a moment now, to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Philadelphia. And, Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. MP finds Harris. Great job with the pick. Harris easily finding his way to the bucket. Bucks trail by seven. Pass to Allen. There's the lob at Takumbo. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley oop jams look easy. To the paint. Stolen by Allen. Puts it up. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a facial. Oh, bounce to the ounce, Greg. Yeah, showing off the bunny. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Here's Gonzalez. The rebound by the Bucks, And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Allen for three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got nine assists now tonight. This is his second three this half. He's getting even more bold at that arc. And Harden with the stop. One of the league's best scores. Harden knows his team depends on him to help shoulder most of that offensive load. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. 
Harris against Middleton. Here's Lopez. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Maxi passes to Gonzalez. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Free throw good, MP. So he gets them both. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Giannis passes to Middleton. Allen with it. Giannis left side, trying to get open as Lopez. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. And it's Harden with the ball for the 76ers. They've led by as many as 11 points. Gonzalez passes to Embiid, and there it is for him. We see this so often. Embiid makes a strong move, drawing contact, and completes the play. Brooke Lopez. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line. The well, free throw drops for Embiid. Bucks trail by nine. Middleton outside. And there's the pass to Allen. The Bucks keep it going. A new 14-second clock. Good. And you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Timeout called the 76ers. They have been pretty disgusting offensively. Too many miscues. They've got to get to the bottom of it. The 76ers leading by seven. Harden the pass to Gonzalez. Out left of the wing. There's the three. And the 76ers get it back. Yet another possession they've managed to hold on to. They are really in control on offense. Kicks it out to Giannis. Middleton against Harris. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Gonzalez. And there's the feed to Harden. That shot off. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Allen surveying the D. Giannis outside. And Embiid with the block. Allen against Maxi. And the rejection by Giannis. Allen dishes to Holiday. Middleton outside. Passes it to Allen. On the wing, Holiday. Good on the triple. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. I think when you've got it going from three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly. Giannis outside. Middleton finds Allen. The kick out to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Let's go. They get the rebound. Here's Lopez. The putback. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Philadelphia leading by four. To the inside. And the dunk by Embiid. Yeah, Embiid is getting everything he wants on the offensive side. He's playing some aggressive basketball right now. And Holiday kicks to Allen. Pass to Lopez. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. And slam dunk by Maxi. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Bucks trail by eight. Pass to Allen. Lopez with the ball. Guarded by Embiid. Lopez against Embiid. Here's Allen. Softly drops in the floater. Allen's got 10 points here in the second half. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. 
Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. There is no let up in this man. He is doing everything in his power to keep this game close. Middleton for three, and another three for Milwaukee. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Down low, Harris. Two points, that one goes. Harris has got four this quarter. And that's the physicality he has muscling through contact. Harris uses all of the tools to get his points. Allen passes to Lopez. Middleton outside. Second chance effort, and it's Ante Kumbo with the bucket inside. Ante de Kumbo has got 38 points. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. Maxi looking it over. On the wing, Harris. Milwaukee with the rebound. Middleton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Loads it up for Giannis. Hammers the alley oop through. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. Back to Harden. Taken away by Holiday. And it's the Bucks on the break. Giannis is running. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Embiid's shot is good. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Outside Holiday. Now the pass to Middleton. Fires it up. Off the left rim and out. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the 76ers. They've led by as many as 11 points. Bucket is good. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Bucks trail by five. Ponte Takumbo passes to Holiday. Harris against Middleton. Lopez gets to Allen. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Holiday trying to get open as Lopez. A shot by Holiday, no good. Philadelphia shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. And B trying to break loose. Harden's shot is off. Milwaukee's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Outside, out of the combo. He can't get it to go. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers leading by five. Maxi, no good. The Bucks shooting 40% in the fourth. Giannis inside. He's covered by Maxi. And again, the Bucks miss. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Middleton. That's his first personal foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Allen inside the three-point line. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Allen's got seven points for the quarter. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. MP deciding where to go with it. From deep Harden. Rebound, Milwaukee. Giannis up top. Covered by MP. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from Monte Kumbo. Harden kicks to MP. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Maxi finds Harris. Money! Well, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Our timeout called by Milwaukee. They trail by four. 46 seconds left in the fourth. 
And now let's present our new balance player of the game. Okay, he's been moonlighting as a point guard here tonight. Now, I don't know where they'd be without all his assists. He's been seeing the court so well, drawing defenders and just making some incredible passes. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That is not the shot they needed there. You've got to work it around and get a better look. Gonzalez with it. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Giannis off of the free throw. That's his fifth personal foul. Well, he doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. We've got 33 seconds left in the game. Here's Giannis trying to get open as Lopez. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And a big-time playmaker. When the game is up for grabs, give the rock to Giannis. Fifth personal foul. Fifteen foul. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. Tyrese. And he ends up making the second, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by four. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Philadelphia, please welcome the court your Sixers ENT. Six seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's onto Takumbo. Allen trying to break three. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a two-point percentage from the field. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him put that game. Second free throw. No good that time. He really wanted that one. And it's all about the three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three-pointer is a must. And every miss finds its back. way to his hand. Well, what an impressive performance. You aren't exaggerating. You don't get the 20 rebound without yeah. having a special yeah. talent for grabbing misses. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Cool, calm, and collected. Say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. Holiday, the pass to Matthews for three. Middleton can't connect. So Philadelphia wins it. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it to this in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a A great evening.
Boy, tough game. How did you guys manage to get this win tonight? You know, that's a really, really good question, John. Um, we fought hard on defense. You know, we protected the ball, we ran hard, and we made that extra pass. You know, those are the pretty good ingredients to win. You know, I took it, I took it upon myself to make sure that they didn't dominate the offensive glass like they're capable of doing. You had a great night on the boards. How did you mm -hmm. manage to snag so many rebounds? <sighs> Rebounding, man, is, is, it's all about angles and positioning. You know, it starts with getting the position early, boxing out your man, anticipating where the ball is going. You know, a lot of it is just intuition you build up over the years of practice. You know, it's like, it's like second nature to me now. Gotta love those good habits. Mm -hmm. Congrats on the win, MP. Thanks, man.